Hello and welcome to part 6 and in this one we are going to get the product okay so last time we got the users today we want to get the products in our database all right so before we do that let's make this a function okay so up here let's go ahead and define and let's call it get underscore users all right and this is going to take self all right like that and now this is inside a function okay so what we want to do instead of printing down here is to return those users all right now that we have all of that let's go ahead and copy this because it's basically the same thing for the product all right so paste it down there and now make sure we indent correctly okay so tap this in and up here let's make sure right there all right so let's tap this function in there all right so now that that is done let's call this one get product like this and up here it's the same thing except for this so instead of getting the users collection we want to get the stocks collection which is where products are stored all right and change this to stocks all right and for stocks we have the first one is product underscore code all right the next one is product underscore name and then we have product weight i believe product underscore weight and then we have in stock which is how many products we currently have and then we also have how many products have been sold all right let's copy this paste it a few times like that make sure we don't forget the commas this time and after sold we have the order date all right so when it was ordered and finally the last time a product was purchased all right which is last purchase okay so then with this actually i actually found a problem with defining our keys upon initialization so this doesn't keep the order all right so what we are going to do is cut all of this all right like that all right and then after we've defined our stocks we are then going to paste all of these in all right move the commas of course like that all right last purchase and then we are simply going to say underscore stocks and stocks product code like that all right then again underscore stocks for all of these all right so done and again copy all of this stocks stocks like that all right and finally for order stocks okay so now that is done now we can proceed so let's change this to basically copy this paste it here copy this paste it here 
copy the product weight paste copy and paste copy this and change the designation now copy order paste it here initialize it to an empty list and finally last purchase is also an empty list all right now we can go down here so for product in products uh, did we call it products let me see so we call this we are still calling it users so let's change this to products all right now that is done we can go down here and say for product in products dot find and we want to product code dot append product and the product product code product underscore code and product name is product name then product weight is product underscore weight in stock in underscore stock this change this to product and this to product again and also that to product like that and finally we have sold all right so sold and this is going to be sold product all right copy this paste it two times change this to order and that to order then change this to last purchase and finally that to last underscore purchase okay control s to save we now go down here change this to products length and it's going to be the length of product code and now product oops product length and now change this to what did we call this stocks all right and stocks product product underscore code is going to be equal to product code yep product code that all right again stocks product names wow this is dragon product names and it's going to be product name stocks again and wait so product underscore wait product wait again okay now delete this copy this and let's paste it a few times and change from product weight to in stock so in stock change this to in underscore stock then change this from sold to this sold order and order here all right simple enough paste it one more time and we want to get the last underscore purchase change this to last purchase and i believe we're done so return products is it stocks sorry underscore stocks control s to save this 
let's try it up here so what did we call it we call it get products so simply say self dot get products like that and we want to print this out so tab this in print that control s to save let's run this actually we want to run python3 admin slash admin the pi and key error product names and that is because where is it oh it's product name all right control s to save let's try it one more time and check down here and sure enough we get all of the data all right so this is where we are going to stop in the next one we are going to start displaying all of this data all right so questions comments leave them down below otherwise as always i'll catch you in the next one